Hello, it's Jennifer Harding Marlin. Today's video is going to talk about the Malta Citizenship by Investment Program. We've helped several clients with the Malta Citizenship by Investment Program, and we have more and more people that are contacting us that are interested in acquiring Maltese passport. And therefore, this video is going to talk about the advantages, the costs, and process for becoming a citizen. So Malta Citizenship by Investment Program is one of the top, if not the top, citizenship by investment program in the world. In my view, there are two main key advantages that set it apart from others. And one is that becoming a citizen of Malta, you obtain European citizenship, and this is really valuable, as well as a European passport. Becoming a citizen of Malta, a Maltese citizen, you have the light right to live, work, and travel within all 27 EU member states. So this is extremely valuable for somebody that wants to live in Europe and that wants to do business in Europe. Additionally, with the Maltese passport, you have visa-free travel to over 160 countries, well over 160 countries, including the USA, Canada, and Australia. Other citizenship by investment programs, for example, the Caribbean citizenship by investment programs, you would have to obtain a multiple entry visa to enter the USA and obtain visas for Canada and Australia. And so, for example, if you're someone that has US citizenship that went on to renounce their US citizenship and is just relying on their Caribbean passport as a travel document, then Maltese citizenship is a very strong citizenship to have. If you're someone that's looking to have a strong passport in your passport portfolio, Malta citizenship ranks highly according to various passport indexes and according to different visa-free travel lists. So it is a very sought after passport. And other advantages include that it's a really safe and enjoyable place to live. It has a very high quality of life and low crime rate. Having personally spent quite a bit of time in Malta, I love the country. There is, I'm always amazed with the high quality of life activities to do and people, and I'm surprised that I liked it. And um, Malta, we've had quite a bit of clients that have spent time in Malta and have really enjoyed it as well. So in addition, there are healthcare and educational opportunities. So a lot of people are seeking out European universities and educational opportunities for their children. So becoming a citizen, you have uh, increased access to both healthcare and educational opportunities as well. It's an international financial center and it has great connectivity to countries all around the world, including Europe. It's a very great location. Proximity to different countries is really great as well. So these are just some of the advantages of becoming a citizen of Malta. So now to talk a little bit more about the costs. It is a lot more costly compared to Caribbean citizenship by investment programs. The citizenship program known as the Malta Exceptional Investor by Naturalization. There's different pathways and different timelines that you can do. So there's a 12 month process as well as a 36 month process. If you're doing the 12 month process, it is more costly compared to the 36 month. For the 12 month process, there's a non-refundable contribution of Euro 750,000, which is typically due towards the end of the process upon approval. And if you're doing the 36 month, it is 600,000 euros. Additionally, there is a euro 50,000 per dependent that's included in the application. Additionally, you have to make either an investment in real estate starting at euro 700,000 to be maintained for five years, or alternatively, rent a place for euro 16,000 per annum per five, for five years. There's an additional donation of euro 10,000 to a charitable cause. And so, you know, I've just thrown out a bunch of numbers, but if you would like a cost quote specific to your case, it ultimately depends if you're a single applicant, what family members you are including in an application, as well as their ages, we can provide a detailed cost quote as part of the process. So talking about the process, unlike other citizenship by investment programs, you actually physically have to go to Malta throughout certain stages of the application in order to do the citizenship by investment application. So depending on your specific situation, we can tell you and coordinate with you what dates you would be in Malta, how many days you need to spend in Malta in order to complete everything, 
and adhere to your goals and timeline. A lot of clients are busy. They have international business all around the world and they're traveling all the time. So you'd really sit down specific to your case and go over everything. So all in all, like the cost for Maltese citizenship by investment is quite costly. So typically it is more ultra high net worth and high net worth individuals that are doing the Maltese program. It is a very strong citizenship by investment program to do. If you'd like to get more information, you can visit our website at jhmarlin.com or send me an email at jennifer at jhmarlin.com and we'd be happy to potentially assist you. All the best. Bye for now.